Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Check it out. I got a bunch of older lead acid batteries that are just not holding a charge. They're not taking a charge is what I should say. And there's a lot of changes that have happened in charger technology over the last few years. Used to be you got yourself a 210 and sometimes 30 amp charger that was either 12 or 6 volt lead acid only. And these things would work as long as there was something in the battery to begin with. This battery charger from Vavor is what's called a smart charger, and these things have taken the world by storm when it comes to technology. But it also has the ability to desulfate a battery, and that is a special way of charging and discharging rapidly. You, you put it on a high charge for a little while to boil the, uh, the electrolytes inside of it, and then shut it off, then boil it, then shut it off. It's an interesting process, and it does work. You can bring batteries that were testing marginal or bad all together, and bring them back to life with this. Now it also has some other modes. It has uh, maintainer mode and just regular charge mode, but it also does LiPo batteries and lithium batteries. So you have the ability to uh, recharge solar powered batteries or batteries for maybe a, an outboard, uh, you know, like a trolling motor setup, stuff like that. So it's a pretty cool setup from what I understand. Let's go ahead and get the camera closer and we'll unbox it. I've got a battery that's not great and we're gonna put it on a charge here and leave it on and we'll leave it on all day. It's, it's about, it's 7 o'clock right now in the morning, so we'll leave it on. About 4 o'clock in the afternoon, we'll come out and see what it has done. Let's get closer in and check it out. Model number is GS450C. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, open this thing up. Okay, we've got an owner's manual. The main unit here, which is heavy, but it is really compact. Uh, you know, again, used to conventional battery chargers, some of these things have wheels, you know? <laughs> So that's cool. And, um, and then our cords. It also comes with the, so if you aren't able to use that style, you can actually make a terminal and cut these off and use terminal connections for your charging. As far as this goes here, let's unscrew this or undo this and we'll see how long it is. Let's see here. So that's about three foot worth of cord there. And it's it's connected so that you can't accidentally plug it in backwards. Of course, plus and minus. On this side, let's see how long our battery cord is, or our power cord. And that's going to be about six feet. Yeah, that's a six foot cable there. Again, it has a connector. I'm going to go on the side here does have cooling. I don't know if that's a fan or just a cooling vent. And on the back here, just more information. All right. Nice screen and some buttons. So let's plug this thing in over on the bench. We'll hook it up to a battery and we'll see what it can do. Ba uh, manual wise. So 19 pages, all in English and good English on this one. All right, let's, let's move it over to the table and check it out. I want to get a battery on charge. All right, so here we are. Hopefully you can see that okay. 12.1 volts, and we're gonna change the battery type. You can see we have LiPo, lithium, or regular AGM slash lead acid. That is what we got. We can set our voltage manually or let it go automatic. We're gonna set it to <clears throat> 12 volts. And I'm sorry I misspoke here, but we have 10 amp, 20 amp, and 35 amp charging. We're gonna let it stay on auto for this because it's gonna know what's best. But we could do a force charge and do 35 amps, which would get a battery back up enough to, uh, to get going really quickly, honestly. So up top here, charging, maintain, desulfication, and force mode. Because we have some voltage, this battery is just about dead. At 12.1 volts, you're just about dead meat. Um, anything lower than that. So it's about a 25% charge right now. What we're gonna go and do, desulf, a vacation so we want to try to bring this battery back from the dead here we'll change the voltage over to 12 volts current is going to be auto right and then we just press play and there she goes she's going to start and you can see the amper starting to come up the voltage starting to come up you can see our battery down at a very low state of charge and we're going to let that work we're just going to let it do its thing we're going to come back it like i said it's uh well now it's 7 30 in the morning and so we'll let it run. I would say I'm going to check on it at lunchtime, so right around noon, and see how it, it's holding up. And if at noon 
it, uh, it is looking like it's good. It's got a higher state of charge and everything. Well, then maybe we'll switch it over and we'll, we'll just do a uh, charging motor and see if we can get a full charge on it. Okay, so that's the battery that we're working with here. And you can see it's, a, it's not that old. It's actually a 21 model. But it came out of a junkyard car. I went down and picked it up. It's awesome. The LKQ Nero sells batteries for uh, 25 bucks a pop. So I picked this up for 25 It had the newest date of any of the batteries that I saw in the junkyard that day. Unfortunately, I got it home and it was dead as could be. Two reasons. Uh, accessory key left on probably after the crash that this car was in would run it down to absolute zero. And a lot of times that's it. It won't come back from that. And so desulfating it will hopefully fix that. But we'll see. We'll see. All right. I'll see you at lunch. All right. Well, here we are. It is, uh, it's not exactly noon. It's like 1130. But uh, you can see how it's cycling. No amperage, high amperage, no amperage, high amperage. It keeps doing that and has been doing it for a good long time. What I'm curious now is I'm going to turn this thing off, right? I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to unhook it. I've got a battery tester. This battery was testing bad beforehand. I forgot to film that. I apologize. But we're going to run a test on it. I want to see if it tests good after four hours of this desulfating slash charging. So let's check that out. All right, so we're gonna do a test here of the battery. It is out of the vehicle. It is regular and cold cranking amps and it is 675 cold cranking amps. So let's see what it says. Oh, wow, okay. 86% state of charge and now the battery does test good. So it is doing its job. Um, it was at 12.1 volts, which was 25% uh, state of charge. When I checked it, it was 21 state, uh, state of charge, but it tested bad and the cold cranking amps that was available was um, 360. So it went from 360 to 585. That is almost a full restoration on this battery. <laughs> awesome. Well, it's the Vavor smart battery charger i'll leave a link to where you can get one of these things and I, I recommend it i mean it look what it did in just four hours i'll leave this thing uh, plugged in and continue to go through that cycle but i it seems to me like it might actually be able to bring this thing 100 percent back from the dead which would be super cool till next time my friends take care